another outdoor adventure. Um, this is a good one today. I'm probably not going to do too much talking to the camera, but I am actually working this morning helping Calvin out on real-time charters. He couldn't find a decky, unfortunately. Nobody wanted to work with him today. But I got the phone call and said, hey, Jared, you want to come and give us a hand? And of course, that's what I'm going to do. So we're just about to pull into the ramp to pick up the customers. And uh, then I'll get busy and do all things fishing and uh, help some lovely people catch some lovely fish out here in Port Phillip. So anyway, sit back and enjoy. Uh, there's probably going to be a lot of music flowing over this and um, yeah hopefully we can get some fish I've got to do some work and uh, squeegee some windows because we can't see as I've just been told <coughs> Alright, I'll give you a very quick rundown. So basically what we'll do is we'll get three people on one side, two on the other, and spare, keep yourselves decent distance apart. Yep. The rods and reels are pretty easy to use. No one's left-handed. So the setup is a, what they call a paternoster rig. So you've got two droppers, one up here, one down there, and your sinkers on the bottom. Now there's bait cut up, so there's a, there'll be a tub on that side, and there'll be a tub on this side. There's a head and a tail. It makes up the whole pilcher that I've just cut in half. Pretty simple procedure. Straight through the end of the tail like so. And then you go back through a second time. You just have some hook exposed. So when the fish grabs it, he gets hooked. Just with the head, I just like to go just in the gill plate. There's a little gill plate just behind the eye there. Now you can either, because that's quite hard, you can either just leave it sitting on the hook like that or you can bring it back through but it tends to hide the, the bar of the hook. That's essentially about as easy as it gets. All you need to do then is flip the bale open. So this is the bale. Hold the line and just hold the line gently as it goes down. I think we're in about 20 metres. So it takes a little bit to get there. When the line goes slack, that means you're on the bottom. just so it comes off a little bit and you'll feel it just touch the bottom as the boat's rocking side to side you can hold it in your hand or you can just leave it like that if you get a bite you can grab it strike set the hook and that should just do its job if there's snapper around they'll come and they'll take that i'm going to cast out what they call some flat line rods out the back there's just four of them when they go they go i'll just call somebody over if you haven't got a fish and we'll just pass them around as we go.
Anyway, jigging for snapper. <laughs> Wasn't even working, the rod was just sitting in the holder and she's howled off. <laughs> Which is a lot of bloody fun. <laughs> Can't believe it. On the micro jig, how good's that? With a plastic hanging off it. That's a good fish. Need that because they're only tiny. It's all right, I'll grab the net. Look at this fish. What a fish. <laughs> Let's get it on board. Let's get it on board. Have a look at this. What an absolute sunlight. What a beautiful red. How good's that? And Calvo's nice chunky male just swallowed that yam yam jig. That is an absolute cracker. On again. It's still ate it. You'll be right. Try about it tomorrow. That's a direction. Nice and gentle though, nice and slow. Hang on. No worries. the bottom. There you go. Well done, Tiger. Well done, birthday boy. Well, just as we drive back into Paddo, we've had an absolute cracker of a morning. The punters had an absolute ball. There's smiles going around everywhere and they caught some lovely fish. I do love jumping on board and helping out as a decky from time to time. It's good fun. It's great fun to see people catch fish. It's so rewarding because not everybody always gets opportunities to go out and catch fish. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit subscribe. It was a bit of fun and um, hopefully we can do it all again. Anyway, bye from me. Thanks.